welcome to today's tutorial. Today I am showing you how to make a round pillow cover. So here's our round pillow. And we are going to be making a fun pillow cover using the Lion Brand Homespun Yarn. Um, I know it's kind of hard to see with the pillow form, so I'll pull that out. But using the Lion Brand Homespun Yarn. Now, this yarn kind of gets a bad rap. Let's just be honest. Um, it's full of lots of texture. Um, if you will notice right here, you can see that it's spun with this really small extra cord, which I think lends itself to um, being a little intimidating um, because it's more like a hand spun yarn. That's kind of how it works, but the homespun yarn has some of the most beautiful colorways. And so I just think that people miss out on creating some really, really awesome pieces. So I have been working to put together a little five part series of five different types of items that you can make um, using homespun yarn. And I'm gonna have step-by-step -step tutorials and hopefully I'll put together a playlist and the written patterns for all of these things will be down in the description bar. But I just want people to not be afraid to use homespun because like I said, there are so many colors and it's just absolutely gorgeous. So I've already made one round pillow panel. Yes, one round pillow panel. So I'm gonna set that over to the side and we are gonna go ahead and get started with the homespun and the particulars. So this is what homespun looks like and I wound up getting it on clearance. and. This is the color Sierra. And if you look, there are so many gorgeous colors in here. There's greens, there's purples, there's yellows, there's reds, pinks, whites, creams. Ugh, it's just so luxurious and beautiful. I just really love this yarn. And this is not sponsored, so it's an unbiased opinion. I really love it. Okay, so what we're gonna do is start off with a magic loop. Now, if you're not familiar with a magic loop, I will show you, oh, and I am using a 12 millimeter clover hook. I really love these larger hooks. So, the magic loop is you basically take the yarn with your tail, right? Wrap it around like that. Take your working yarn, and you're gonna kind of set it over, so let me, I have the hiccups, excuse me. Let me try that again. Insert, take your yarn, grab your little loop, just pull it through, and then chain up one, two, three. Actually, we're gonna do two, because we're gonna be working 12 half double crochets into the circle. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and 11. So that initial chain three counted as um, one half double crochet. And so we've got 12 and we use that to kind of pull everything tight. And then right about here is where our start is and we're just gonna slip stitch that together. So a few things before we continue on. Homespun yarn is best manipulated with a large crochet hook. Typically the crochet hooks, let's see, you could do it with a J hook. Um, I would say eight millimeter or higher. Now if you get too big, you're gonna have a lot of gaps in your stitches. So it, like, let's say, so this is a 12. I would say if you went beyond a 12, you would need to have two strands together. Um, 
But before you would maybe tackle that, like if it's your first time, I would recommend play around with just one strand, get familiar with the yarn, because like I said, the key to success with this yarn is a large hook and your fingers. This yarn is all about feel. And oftentimes I may not be able to see it, but what I will do is I will go around and feel for where the stitches are. I'm like, oh, okay, there it is. Oh, okay, there it is. So it's really about the feel, if that makes sense. So again, the key is a larger hook and using your fingers to help you feel where those stitches are, right? So if you're just looking, that's more difficult to see that V. But with my fingers, I can tell, oh, there's two strands there and that's the spot. Um, again, a little more difficult to see, but if you get your fingers in there, oh, there's the stitch. So it's really about using your fingers to kind of help guide you through and a larger hook. So I don't want this yarn to scare you because again, you're passing up so many amazing projects because it's just so beautiful. So now we're going to chain up two and in each stitch around we're going to place two half double crochets so not in the chain stitch we'll go into the next stitch which is right here and we'll place two half double crochets in each stitch all the way around i always get ants and when i'm editing <laughs> I always see the ants. I'm like, what? I didn't even see that. So just two half double crochets in each stitch all the way around. And then when you get back to home base, you just grab the top of that turning chain and slip stitch it closed, just like that. Okay, so chain up two again. And now we're going to begin kind of our, um, let's see, what would you call it? Our increasing. So we're just gonna slowly increase with each round. So. This is round one, round two. Now we're on round three. So round three is two half double crochet, one half double crochet, two half double crochet, one half double crochet, two half double crochet, one half double crochet and it's just a two one two one two one repeat all the way around ending with um just the uh one half double crochet in the last stitch Okay, and then slip stitch. Whoops, make sure you get in the stitch, not the space. Slip stitch, bleh, slip stitch, those together, chain two. So now for one, two, three, round four, it's two, one, one. So two half double crochet, one half double crochet, one half double crochet two, one, one.
here and slip stitch together chain up two so row and look at how much we've already done and we've only done one two three four rows or rounds sorry not rows rounds so yes this can work up so fast so for the remaining rows if we're looking on our other swatch so we have one two three four five six seven eight nine rows total so one two three four so the way this works up is you have round one you have two um, I'm sorry 12 HDC round two two HDC in each stitch round three two H D C one H D C you seeing the pattern round four two H D C one H D C one H D C round five So round seven, round eight, round nine. You just add one more. So this is two, one, two, three, four. And then it would be two. And then five in next five stitches. Whoop. Ah. Two HDC six in next six stitches. Two HDC and then seven in next seven stitches. Never look at a word and think that's just not spelled right. So you basically understand the increase. So go ahead and do that. Make two. Okay, you're gonna make two. Uh, come back once you've done both of those and I'm gonna show you how to attach them. Right, so I'm back, just finished my last row and look, we've still got a decent amount of yarn left and we've already made a pillow, like enough for a pillow cover. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so here's what we're going to do next. We're gonna take our rounds and what we're gonna do is we're going to start, let me see, let's do it this way. So put your covers where your working yarn is in the front and this one's in the back. And here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna start stitching around just slip stitching, really simple. Um, and there's no particular place where you need to do it, just kind of feel for it. Go around, and once we get about half, eh, I'd say about three quarters of the way, we're gonna pop our pillow insert. And if you wanna know where I got my pillow insert, I picked it up at Joann's. I did it, I got actually an incredible deal and I picked up several. Um, they had a coupon for all of their pillow forms and there was like a 20 or 40% off um, your total purchase including sale items. And so I got like, I think I got six or something for super cheap, it was less than $40 I believe 
So yeah, if you are fortunate enough to have a Joann's near you, I highly recommend going in there, popping in to see if you have any coupons that will go towards um, any of the pillow form purchases. And if you wind up and there's just not any in there, um, you can always get them off of Amazon. I've done that too. And they actually have some on Amazon, they have some more luxurious ones like with down feathers. And like, if you really wanted to get super fancy, you could easily do that. The key to this guys is just make sure that the two panels are as lined up as they can be. And another awesome thing about this yarn is that because of its texture, it is so forgiving. So if you mess up, it's really hard to see it. The texture just offers you some grace if you wind up messing up or skip a stitch or do it in the wrong spot. You really can't tell. It's very hard to tell. So you just keep going around with these slip stitches and it'll get this pillow. Um, look at that nice other than that one little wonky stitch, but nice and round. Oh, I love it. And you could easily add like, I've seen people that kind of do the bohemian vibe. They'd add like pom-poms or little tassels or just leave it like it is because I think it's beautiful. Be sure too that as you're following along this kind of homespun yarn series, I have five different projects that I plan on sharing with you guys, but if you are like, there's this one particular homespun yarn color that's just absolutely beautiful, but I want to know how to make, you know, this with it. Leave a comment on any one of these videos or feel free to comment on the blog post and let me know what you want to see made with this yarn and I will do my best to come up with a design because I want to create things that you guys want to see so just be thinking like I almost did a single crochet is there something specific and I'm trying to to mix it up to where I have kind of beginner intermediate and advanced patterns um, using this yarn. I have a beanie pattern that will be um, a part of this series and I would say it's more intermediate to advanced just given the texture and overall difficulty that most people face with this yarn. Doesn't mean you can't do it because you can. You can do anything you put your mind to but just, just a warning. And so if there's anything in particular that you'd like to see, I'd love to know. All right, so we're getting pretty close here. I really wish that I could, maybe that'll work. I'm trying to zoom you guys out, so my tripod broke and I am struggling hard. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead at this point. I'm gonna put our pillow form, kind of snug it on down in there. Like that. It's hard to see on camera, I know. I'm sorry. So you see how like you just take that and just kind of get that pillow all nice and snug in there like that. And then you just continue on around. I don't know if that helps. Continue on around the pillow. And once you get pretty close to the end, um, come back, pause the video here, finish, come back, or you can keep watching, and I will show you the finished product. All right, so here I am. I've got it closed. I snipped it, and I just kind of pull it tight. And then taking my tapestry needle, just kind of spin this closed as much as possible. Like that. 
you just kind of, you know, wiggle it in between stitches. Go back through. No rhyme or reason. Do it one more time. Wiggle it in between those stitches. Get it nice and stuck. Pull a little bit extra. And voila, you are done. And let me just take you off the tripod, sorry. Really quick. And you can see, see how beautiful, and like I said, you just, let me see if I can stand up and you can see it. Ugh, oh, I just love it. It's so beautiful. Just love how it looks. It almost looks like a sunburst. Just those hues and that color. Like how it fades down and just the nice texture that you get along the side. So, I mean, guys, this can be worked up so fast, less than 30 minutes, that big hook in this yarn. And I just, oh, I hope that this inspires you not to be intimidated by the homespun yarn because it is such a beautiful yarn. And so if you do like this video, I would encourage you to please subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications, like the video, comment, letting me know which type of products you want to see in my homespun series. And I will do my best to incorporate that. And like I said, don't be afraid of homespun yarn. It's too beautiful not to pass up. See you guys in the next video.